What's up, everyone? Karu here from My Tennis HQ. Hope you guys are doing great. I'm still here in New York at the US Open bubble. Naomi keeps winning. She's in the semifinals. I'm sure you guys seen it. And, you know, hopefully she's going to take the title. So it's been a very exciting couple weeks, besides the fact that we are completely isolated. Um, but today we're, I'm going to talk about a racket that I've been meaning uh, to test for a while. I've had it for a while. And, but I wasn't able to hit it until a few days ago. I hit it with it a couple times now, and it's the new E Zone. Uh, tour, which is the heavier version of the, the normal E-Zone 98. Um, Yonex gave it to me before I came to the US Open, but I didn't want to fully switch uh, rackets before I came here, so um, I've had it in my bag, but I didn't have the chance to hit it until a couple days ago, and I finally did, and it's unbelievable. I'm really, really happy with this racket. Um, I'm kind of in the market for a new racket. My, my speeds are getting a little bit older. I might need to to eventually make a switch, but nothing on the market really makes sense, made sense to me until this racket, to be honest. Everything else I tested, they were good, but not necessarily what I needed. And I finally found something that I think is gonna suit my needs really well. Um, so I'm really happy and I really wanna, wanna hit with it much more, especially when I'm back in LA. So today I'm just gonna give you my first thoughts. It's not a full review because um, again, I wanna, you know, Play much more with this racket. I want to play some tournaments, maybe play a couple matches um, to see how how it really performs um, in, in those situations. But uh, I want to give you my first thoughts on on what I felt uh, from this racket in the last couple of hits. So let's just let's get right to it. And if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps us. Uh, we've been pretty busy uh, with work besides my tennis hq recently but we're trying to put out a lot of content for you guys and we really appreciate the support so please subscribe okay so if you watch some of our older videos about yonex rackets i i my personal favorite was the e zone 98 i i thought it suited my game the best but i still felt like there was something missing i think it was the weight and even though i can add weight to it um, I never really like adding too much weight to rackets because I feel like I end up messing with the feel of the racket too much. Um, but it's, it was still like my favorite one. I felt like it pocketed the ball well, and and it had you know a good combination of of power and and control. Uh, but there was something missing. Like I wouldn't have changed to that one. But now with the tour version, which is a little bit heavier, 315 grams on strong. Um, you can add a little bit of weight. I'm probably going to add a le leather grip to it. Um, it, it just kind of checks all the marks for me. It's, it's even though it's a 16, 19 string pattern that I typically don't like. Um, the racket does provide a lot of control, um, and if you really, you know, accelerate, you get a lot of topspin, but you still pocket the ball really well. It doesn't feel like it shoots off the string. Um, that's what I really liked about it. And for my game style, like I can drive the back end with it and generate a little bit more topspin on the forehand because that's the way I play. I don't really, I don't really play the same way both sides. And I really liked it. I really, I mean, from from the hits I've had so far, I, I feel like I can I can really turn it up a notch and hit the ball, and it, it will go in. But I'm, I'm getting a lot of weight behind it. But at the same time, like when you know you hit hard to me, I'm, I've been able to the racket being a little bit heavier there's stability through the shot and i think that's important the racket not moving too much at contact making sure it stays stable through the through the shot and for me that's i need to wait for it because again i i drive the ball a little bit more so if the racket is too light it, it tends to be, get a little too flimsy in my hands so in those areas it, it really feels amazing like i just can't, i don't have any complaints that way like i didn't feel like it was not balanced well or there was something odd about it there's always you know brackets feel like right you, you're playing towards uh, with with the feel of it and how it, it, it suits your game and this one really suits my game this way um, I like you know like all Yonex is the grip is always a little bit longer so it's good for the the, the, the two-hander back and um, feels nice in the hand it's still getting used to a little bit with the, the throat feel here on the hand but um, I really like it, and again, it swings through the air. I mean, it's a typical E zone swing, swings through the air really quickly. Um, but now with just the added weight, it feels, feels so good. So um, I'm really happy with it. Um, I served a little bit with it as well. And you know, if you again, if you watch some of the older videos, I'll say that like I, I really liked the old E zone, not the old, but the, the 98 version for serving. But because it's a little bit light, 
I just, you know, didn't really get the pop that I that I wanted. I get, got a lot of action, but not a lot of pop. And now this one kind of solves it. It's just, you know, I can hit great kicks. I can hit great flat serves. I can hit great, great slice serves. And I feel like I'm getting a lot of action from them. Um, so it's just a very complete package. Um, it's a very modern, modern racket. Uh, it has great maneuverability for you know slow. You know, if you need to slice, if you need to pick up shots, sometimes just with your hands, you didn't have the time to set up your feet properly. Uh, you can improvise with it as well. So, just overall for my game, I, I play that, that sort of game style. I'm not necessarily perfectly set up every time. Uh, I you know I tend to use my hands a little bit too much, but um, it's just the way I like to play and this one really helps me with that so i i really like it and i think um I mean, i've heard that it's becoming a really popular racket um, and a lot of people are, are seeking uh to try it out and i think you should as well because it, it is a good racket if you find if you want a, a, a well-balanced racket that gives you power but also gives you control um you can play with topspin you can play flat um it doesn't really reward um or i would say it doesn't really um, the racket doesn't really makes it difficult to hit any shot. If you want to hit flat, it will help you hit flat. If you want to hit with spin, it will help you hit, hit with spin. Um, you know, it's great for serving. It's it's stable for returning. It's good for volleying. I don't I don't really have, wasn't able to get as much footage as I wanted um, during practices, but I'll do that again when I'm in LA. So overall, complete package. Super happy with it. Um, didn't didn't think. Uh, I was gonna like it this much. I mean, I liked the older one, but you know, once I picked it up, I was like, mm, this feels, it feels better. This feels a little bit heavier. Feels like it, it swings through the, the air a little bit better, even without hitting. And once I hit with it, I mean, I was really impressed. So um, again, can't complain. I played with my my usual string, my head links uh, towards string uh, at 60 pounds. So you know, I play with like a tight string pattern, uh, a t tight tension, and man honestly really really good racket really considering the switch again uh, once i'm back in la i'm gonna play much more with it and then you know evaluate if i want to switch but i'm really leaning towards it because again uh, i'm gonna need to make the switch in the next like few months because uh, my rackets are getting a little bit older so really good racket really really pumped uh, that Giannis gave it to me uh, to try it out and i'm you know i'm really 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 solid stick for for a lot of people i think a lot of people are going to like it and if you're considering buying this racket um, and you don't have access to a demo please leave a comment below because i'm, I'm going to be working on a review and you know i want to give you the best information the most helpful information so you can let us know what you're looking for is it you want to know if it's good for serving for flat serving for slice serving whatever it is um forehands top spin slice if you're serving volley whatever it is just let us know because yeah, I'll answer those in the review and so you guys have like the best um, possible information coming from my tennis HQ and again if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe and hit the like button because it really helps us uh, visit my tennis HQ.com we have a bunch of new articles uh, out there for you and follow us on social media at my tennis HQ on Instagram at my tennis HQ underscore on Twitter and I'll see you guys on the next one